good morning. Let's talk about how God take bringing his people out of Egypt is like a picture of our salvation in Christ Jesus. How they were in bondage and they were slaves. And God wanted to bring them out, make them a people unto himself and separate them out. And uh, so he wanted to bring them into this promised land, the good land, you know, that was, uh, you know, like the land of milk and honey where there would be provision for everything they they needed. And that is like Christ. When we enter the promised land, the good land, it's entering into his rest, trusting in his finished work, out of faith and belief, see? And, but they had to, you know, they could have gone right over and been in the promised land in an incredibly short time. But they wandered in the wilderness and they griped and they complained and they longed for the leeks and the onions and they, they didn't, uh, you know, we, we hear that the water from the rock and the bread from heaven all represents Jesus Christ and God's provision. But they wanted other things and they griped and complained and even said they wanted to go back to Egypt and be in slaves again. They had to come to realize their need in faith because, and then when they got to the promised land, they didn't enter in because they were looking with their eyes at what they could see rather than just believing God that he would provide all and that he would make the way for them to enter in. It wasn't going to be in their own strength. You know, they said, hey, there's no way we can take these people. Um, it's a picture of our faith in the Lord that it's not in our own strength and that he has, he is our provision. He's provided the way. Um, and there's a lot of Christians that are, you know, like I did myself for, for literally decades, wandering in the wilderness, uh, flirting with Egypt and in bondage again. Um, you know, being, a, you know, I was like a, a slave to sin, even though I was saved. Because I wasn't fully trusting him, I was still thinking I had something to do with, with it. I wasn't resting in him. You know, it's like a lot of people have one foot in Egypt and, you know, and they're, they see the promised land, but they just can't quite get there. And it's because they just keep their, they're getting, uh, like I did, just... Um, listening to false teachers that desire to bring them back into bondage instead of holding fast to the liberty that they have in Christ and realizing that he is everything. He's their provision. Um, he's their life. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was thinking on that. <clears throat> and uh <coughs> You know, I've already I've already tried it their way. That's why I'm so I'm such a stinker about uh, speaking out against. I can spot the false and the the lukewarm mixture, you know, of of a gospel or or even just a way of uh, living as a believer that has one foot in Egypt because you can't have both. You, it's like some people say, you know, if they give you the right gospel, but they don't tell you how to walk it out. If they say walk it out is anything different than, than just enjoying and living in his provision. Um, then that takes you right back out of the promised land. They, they can't say, you know, this is the way to to have Christ, but then, sorry, the dog's growling because the cat jumped up here. He's under the covers, man. Um, but then you're not allowed to enjoy him, you know? I mean, it's, 
it's crazy. It's like they want to go back, which kind of changes everything that the Lord has provided for in his finished work. And uh, they want you flirting with Egypt again. and So that's why I'm the way I am, because I tried that. I tried that whole deal for decades, guys, and it just doesn't work. I was miserable. I was in turmoil. Uh, I looked good on the outside and to public, you know. But inside, I, I struggled with so much sin and not feeling loved. And it was just horrible. Um, and I, I just know it doesn't work. And my family was in turmoil. I almost ruined my marriage. And, God has brought so much healing into my life since I have just drawn that hard line and uh, stayed in that place, uh, refused to let anyone, um, you know, bewitch me back into some, you know, going back to Egypt. And so I stand firm and I do it for you guys as well, because I know that if I taught any other way that it would put you back in that place that I was in and there's no way I refuse to do anything like that. All right, I love you guys. Have a great day.